look, it's another me walking to hard off video. This time I'm not carrying alcohol in my hand. That doesn't mean that I've reformed. It's just because my stomach is full from eating a black burger at Burger King. And it wasn't very good, but it was better than the McDonald's one. But that's a spoiler because I made a video. Because you need to see that. My glasses are crooked. I think my face is crooked. I'm pretty sure I just belched in the microphone. Ah, uh, that was disappointing. Should have let her rip. Uh, let's see here, where am I? Okay, so, yeah, I'm dressed up because I went to a wedding. Uh, rehearsal, actually, today. Not my own. Then I went to Burger King. Now I'm walking the heart off and it looks like I'm already kind of here. So, that's cool. Uh, so we'll go inside and see if we find anything exciting. I don't know. Maybe not. That's all right. What else is I going to talk about? It's Halloween, kind of. There's sort of two weekends this time around, and I don't know. Thinking about dressing up and going out, but don't know what to wear. Don't have an idea. Don't really care that much. But if I find something at Hard Off, maybe I'll grab it and... Oh, man. I don't think I was supposed to come this way. Oh, looks like I'm okay. So, yeah, there's that. My wife's in Hong Kong with her mom. A little vacation. Mother-daughter time. Mom stayed the night last night, so got the house all cleaned up and yeah, it's a whole story. I had to put all the stuff in the game room and close the door, you know. But and it's a work in progress. Get along well with both of her parents, so that's good. Mm, I don't know. Her car is parked in our driveway, and it's hard to get my bicycle out of there. But I also know where the key is. <laughs> Maybe I should go for a little drive. Or not. It's not exactly a hot rod. So we're here. I'll flip the camera. There we go. Ugh. Kind of warm. Especially warm to be walking around. So me and my set. I got Zama. There's a car behind me. He was just letting me know. So yeah, we're here. Turn off the video thingy. What's up, people? I've got a bit of a bone to pick. You know, I've been thinking about it. And well, my first bone to pick is with myself, because I left my drink in the kitchen, apparently. Be right back. Yay, here I am, look. It's Kirin Bitters. Kirin Bitas. Horoni, oh, what is this? Horoni gare mo raimu chuhai. Whatever that means, it's lemon lime and vodka and, you know, like club soda and sugar, pretty much. It's really good. And, well, bitters, so it's got a bit of well, it's, ah, who cares? It tastes yummy. And I'm drinking it now. See, I'm gonna pour it in this thing with ice and it's gonna keep it from losing coldness even though it's not like it's gonna last me that long. Who cares? Right. So, I talked about stuff as I was walking to Hard Off. Oh, I had a bone to pick. You know, if you're gonna do a, a, a what? A Hard Off video. A pickup video, you should dress for the occasion, you know what I mean? Or any video for that matter. What is it with you people doing your videos in your pajamas or in a t-shirt and shorts? Are you kidding me? This is broadcast around not only the world, but beyond the world. Beyond. Because aliens, not could they, obviously they are, intercepting the signals and our internet stuff and totally watching this, monitoring this right now. So let's try to look good, right, for the aliens, you know what I mean? Because they're probably trying to decide whether or not just to blow up the planet or not, and it doesn't hurt to dress well, right? So enough with the t-shirts and the shorts, seriously. At least put on a tie and a suit, I mean, come on. Or go naked, maybe not naked. That probably wouldn't go over very well to YouTube. I'm being sarcastic, just in case. Anyone doesn't realize that I pretty normally wear my pajamas when I make my videos. But today is a different day. Uh, right, so I can't remember what all I told you, but I'm home now, by the way. Uh, one thing that I... <laughs> you could tell. <laughs> no, it's a green screen. I'm actually doing this somewhere else. You are special. Did I ever drink any of this? I don't remember. Good. Grapefruit's better. Um, 
but Went to Hard Off and Book Off, they're kind of put together in one. Didn't really find any amazing deals, just bought a lot of stuff and was tempted to buy more because I sold a whole bunch of crap. Well, not crap, all, well, good stuff, but I sold a bunch of stuff that I have in the U.S. this morning. The sale was finalized. I've been doing it all over the phone, working really hard the last two mornings to get that done. And so I treated myself, not that I don't anyway, a lot. But I went all the way to hard off. I felt like I was, should buy something. So I didn't spend too much on anything, but I don't think really, maybe, well, maybe one or two things in here were really good deals. But sometimes I get out of control, ridiculous deals at hard off, but it's usually the other hard off. I don't know. It doesn't matter. So I'll show you what I got. And it's a lot. Uh, what else? Yeah. It's a big monkey off my back to getting rid of the stuff in the U.S. Because the longer I waited to, to sell it, um, you know, there's just the stress of wondering, can you find a buyer? Can you get a, a reasonable price for it? And I did. It's a lot of negotiating. Uh, I don't want to go into too many details. I could do percentages. Um, I got about 15% more. Between 15 and 20% more for the stuff I was selling than what the seller, the buyer originally offered me. And I feel really good about that because he's a professional buyer and seller of cars, basically. And uh, yeah, I felt like I held my own in that exchange. And my yeah, so I'm happy about that. And so I thought I'd go spend some money on stuff I don't need. Uh, but it's fun for my collection and, you know, who cares? Okay, what? That's Facebook. Uh, anyway, um, I'm pretty sure I'm saying um a lot. Just go through this stuff. Here's a bag of hard off stuff. I'll tell you three things I didn't buy. There was a PSP Go white loose, in really good shape. It was uh, seventy five dollars. I didn't buy it, but I do want another PSP Go. I'd rather have a black one though. And I kind of want it to be loose so that I'll play it more. Because when it's in the box, I kind of want to keep it in the box. And it's a thing. What else? Some people still don't realize. With the PSP Go, you can put your, like, downloaded archives, whatever games on there. Yeah? And then you can hook it up to your TV. And then you can play those games with a PS3 controller. Oh, yeah. That's a thing. Right. But it doesn't play UMDs. What else? I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> Live. Well, as a grub gun would say, I quote him too much. Oh, well, I like him, so it's okay. In a live format environment, because it's not really live, it's just live while I'm doing it. I sneeze. It's a nice catch, though. Uh, I should run that back in slow motion. Mm. Or not. Mmm. Five minutes. <laughs> What's happening? Oh, I didn't buy. There were two Game Boy Advance SPs. One was a pretty good deal. It was the Kingdom Hearts Limited Edition, and it had everything but no game. And I don't know if the game or what it all came with originally, but anyway, it was in good shape, and it was fifty bucks. Boxed everything. Kind of maybe should have bought that, but I don't care about Kingdom Hearts. Sorry, I don't like Disney, and I don't care about Final Fantasy. <gasps> Well, that's kind of not true. There are some things about Disney that I like, and there are some Final Fantasies that I kind of like, especially Ten. That's a, another story. So I'm kind of, I don't know. The idea of, yeah, who cares? And then there was the Pikachu yellow one, and it's perfect, like in perfect condition, but no box. And there was no scratch on it. It was just like new, sitting there. But they wanted 170 bucks for it. Ow. I mean, that's pretty much the going rate, but it's hard off. Hello. And I don't care about Pikachu. Pikachu. I don't know if that was good or not. I don't care. I don't care. Well, I mostly don't care. I kind of care a little, but pretty much. I didn't care enough to buy it. So, we go on. What did I buy? <laughs> Random crap. For example, this. Pretty sure this is for the Sega Saturn. To make it so you can hook it up to the internets. Ah, yeah, it's heavy, too. That's going to look sweet in my Sega Saturn. By the way, they, I probably should have bought that. They had a Sega Saturn complete, like two controllers and uh, the hookups for $16. And the same with a Dreamcast. 
I'm starting to wonder why I didn't buy those, but then I remember that I already have like more than a couple of those. So I might, yeah, anyway, I didn't want to carry them, that's why, there you go. Some Sega Dreamcast games, they're complete, whatever, I'll open them. It's whatever comes out of the bag. This is a Sega Dreamcast game, it's awesome, if you don't know it, you should play it. Crazy Taxi, or something like that. I mean, that is what it is, but I can't remember exactly how he says it. Bloop! And the disc's in, I would say, really good condition. Not perfect. Next. This one, I actually am pretty sure I didn't have this. I've got, like, loads of versions of it for the PlayStation, but Sega Saturn Space Invaders. So I actually did find something for my shoot 'em up collection. Um, so that was a dollar. Sweet. Or a hundred yen. Ah! Ha <laughs> ha! This one, Menkyo Toro, uh, what is it? Get the license. I've actually never seen this before. I don't think that it's, um, you know, uncommon or particular. might be uncommon, but it's not valuable. But I am planning to get my driver's license in Japan. So now I can practice with this game on my PlayStation. Probably I'll use it on my PlayStation 3. Get the license. Oh, yeah. I thought that was really cool. Uh, Power Smash Sega Professional Tennis. I have this. It's fun. I bought it. It has tape on it. So I have to take the tape off and it's a pain and it takes time and I want my fingernails to be sharper sometimes but I'm glad that they're not because if they were, well today I was sitting on the toilet and picking my nose and texting all at the same time. I'm not very good at multitasking and I made a wrong turn with my pinky finger and I sliced into the, I don't know what this is called, I feel like I want to say something septum, but the middle part of my nose, <laughs> it was, it was bad, it hurt a lot. It wasn't like a bad cut, it was just one of those things where, did you want to know about how I picked my nose and made myself bleed? No? Oh, I'm sorry. Alright, so this has the spine card, actually, which is cool. This was taped shut, so I took a chance, and um, there's a reason why I'm taking chances on Sega Dreamcast games. Ooh, shiny! Uh, come back here, spy car. Yeah, so that I felt was a dollar well spent, but to be honest, yep, nope, it's a hundred yen. This hard off hasn't bothered with the tax. Tax was gone from 5% to 8%, it's going to 10%. So the other hard off, I usually only go to two, has uh, changed the prices from 105 yen to 108, but these guys are like, ah, screw it, just call it 100 yen, it's good. So that includes the tax. That's kind of nice. But they're overcharging for a lot of games. I, I had three Mega Drive games, not in that great a condition, but complete. Darius 2, Darius 2, what was it, Aladdin, and uh, Mickey Mouse something, I think, and they were all $12, which eh, it's probably about right, like market price, but it's hard off, and so I left them there. It's hard for me to leave a shooter, and I almost didn't, but I did, I really did. Cool borders burn! You're burning on the uh, snow, so that's interesting. Shiny disc, why am I showing you that? Here you go. Pretty sure I didn't have this for my Dreamcast. And uh, I like Dreamcast games that are arcadey because the Dreamcast is basically based on the Naomi arcade system. So when I think Dreamcast, I think arcade with the exception of Shenmue, basically. I never got into uh, Fantasy Star. No offense to people who did, I just never did. Shenmue is the exception and then, you know, arcade type games, you know? What's happening? Okay, this video could be ridiculously long. I gotta go faster. Uh, I wanna say it was... Keep freaking shouting out Grub Gun. He was saying that he never can seem to find an eye toy, right? So I was looking through the junk bin and I found two and they were three dollars or three hundred in each and I threw them in the basket. But then I found these, one for three hundred, one for five hundred, three dollars, five dollars, about. And I switched them out. So these are eye toys with boxes and games. So you've got what am I looking at? Saru Aitoi, which is monkey Aitoi. You know, the Saru Getu, whatever these games are called in English. I don't know. Seto. And that's not all. We also have Aitoi Play 2. It was so good, they made a sequel. <laughs> Guess which one was 500 and which one was 300? You have to pay extra for the monkeys. Okay. Oh, you know what? I made a video that may never be uploaded. Well, yeah, uploaded. 
I did something in that video that I want to do more often. And what I did was, I took this bag and I went like this. <laughs> you can't see. I totally just put a bag over your head. How you like that? <laughs> ah, it's stuck. Okay. The bag's still there, but it's out of the way now. The tripod looked like it was about to fall and hit me. Sorry. Anyway, what else is in this bag? Um, I'm pretty sure I overpaid for this game, but it had the manual and it's always exciting to find a loose shoot 'em up. So I bought it. And that was 700 yen. Yeah, I know. Flying Hero. And this is kind of a wacky shoot 'em up, I believe, if I remember right. I'm thinking of the right one. When you're playing it with your. This isn't a controller, but pretend it is. You're. Do, 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 do. No, no, wait. This is kind of. Do, 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 do. If you push these buttons, it changes the turret so you can shoot diagonally. So that's kind of neat. And it has the manual. And what did I get? I got Shutoko! Battle and Shutoko Battle 2. Set though! And neither of these discs are in perfect shape, but they're, they look like they'll probably play. So, I don't know. They're racing games. You're like racing around Tokyo or something. But I still need to get a Dreamcast wheel. And those are like a $10 in Japan. I just, I don't think I have one yet. I really need to get a Dreamcast wheel. I have a special reason for that. And I think only Martin knows at this point the reason. There's, yeah, anyway. <laughs> so I mentioned in an earlier video, I think I put that one up, that in the US, they're selling uh, at a lot of like department stores the PlayStation Move for like 20 bucks because it just didn't sell that well. Um, I already have two because I'm a sucker and I had to have it. And I don't hate it. You know, it just didn't catch on, whatever, but I like it. Now I have the official Sony PlayStation 3 PlayStation Move Dual Charging Station. Yes! That cost 600 yen or $6. And, oh, that's a pretty good thing. I want to save that. Like, it's one of my better buys. <laughs> uh, there's still so much more on my head. Oh. In the video, did I, well, let's see, let me think about this. I'm trying to think how I'll do the footage. Now, this will be a good break. On my way back from Hard Off, uh, I was walking from the train station to the bus stop, and I heard music playing, so I decided to kind of take a little detour and see what it was, and it was this. Oh, you're back. Um, yeah, it was these dudes. <laughs> and they weren't bad, but I mean, it was kind of sad because there weren't many people. Zarutz! Here you go. And as you saw in the video footage, they had some technical difficulties. Um, or it was just a big fail, but they just stopped in the middle of the song like a guy forgot the words or something. And it was just like, oh, yeah, screw it. Let's just introduce ourselves. Because it was like there were a dozen, maybe 20 people watching, as you may have seen in the video. And then they finished with Zarutz, blah, blah, blah. And then they did the same song again. And I listened to that while I was waiting for the bus. So, Zarutz! Zarutz! Yay! And this lady handed me this thing and I was like, ah, uh -huh. you know, I'm so Japanese sometimes because I've been here so long. When somebody hands me something, I feel like I have to take it. So if you ever come to Japan or if you've been here, you know that as you walk down the street, there's just tons of people handing out stuff. Sometimes it'll be like a fan with some advertising on it. There was a whole controversy about that with a politician. Or tissues, or just flyers, sometimes coupons. And I just, I just look straight ahead. I usually don't acknowledge them. I might be like, oh, sorry, you know, but basically it's their job. They're used to being rejected and whatever. For some reason I took this, so, and then there's nowhere to put it and I felt bad just leaving it on the table, so we're sharing it together. The roots, the roots. Okay, enough of that. Now, what's in here? some other stuff. The thing I mentioned earlier, the hard off and the book off are together in the same store. So we're in the same building. So you have to actually go to separate cash registers for the different things that you buy. And so she told me that. Um, but this same hard off, I don't know, a few months ago, I found a GameCube 
uh, component cable, they're like a hundred bucks. In Japan, they're a hundred bucks. In the US, I think they're a hundred bucks. That's what they cost. Yeah, I got it for a hundred yen, which is one one hundredth of the, no, that's not right. That is right. One one hundredth. One hundred dollars. Yes. One percent of the regular price. Wow, that's a really good deal. Yeah, so I just went through the box of uh, cables in the junk section, and I was looking for green and blue, because usually they're all red and yellow and white. And I found one, and hoo -hoo -hoo, there it is. It's for the PlayStation, and the PlayStation 2, I guess. Eh, but it was, you know, it was three, 300 yen, and I went ahead and grabbed it, because component is awesome. Crisp so clear. So crisp so clear. And then what else do we have here? These are, did you see? I think you saw. Stop peeking! I bought these because they're 100 yen and because these games are awesome. So there you go. I'm not good at them though, because I don't have the patience. Metal Gear, Solid 2, Metal Gear, Solid 3. Yeah! 100 yen each. Bam! On the shelf. Scorpion Slayer 66. You have been referenced in this video. Let's take the tramp off and see if they're in crappy condition. Probably they are. Oh, Gear Solid 3 Snake It. Oh, look at that. It looks like new so far. And the disc condition is not so good. Ho <laughs> ho ho! Shocking! Let's see what we can do with it. <laughs> it was a dollar. I took a chance. And tape. Oh man, it's so manly. I just ripped that tape right off like that. With one finger. This one's not looking as good when you open it up. Thick manuals in both of these. And the disc has definitely seen better days. And I don't think you can tell, but you'll just have to take my word for it. But they both look like they'll play. Next, I don't know why I keep buying these games. It's because I want to get all of them. What in the world? Why does it have a dollar? Okay, that's weird. I'm going to show you that one first. Look at this. $8.99 plus tax. What in the world? <laughs> and then it's a Japanese game and it was being sold presumably in America or somewhere that uses a dollar sign, dollars. And then it's back to Japan and it sold for 200 yen at hard off. And this is Guilty Gear Isuka. Guilty Gear games are great and they're freaking cheap for a lot of them. There are a couple that are more expensive and I don't remember. I can never remember which ones. I have and don't. I'm not going to bother with this freaking tape because it's a pain in the butt and it takes too much time. But there you go. This has journeyed far to come back to my game collection. Guilty Gear X. Guilty Gear Zekusu is how it's pronounced in Japanese. I don't know why. That's stupid. Plus, pew, these games are great. Buy them cheap if you can. Should be able to get them online for like, I don't know, five bucks, right? Guilty Gear Iguzex. Why do you... XX is XX, but they spell it Iguzekus, the Midnight Carnival. I would like to carve this into my arm. It's just so the Midnight Carvinal. Whatever. Cell shaded graphics and a fun fighter. Uh, brought to you by, what is it, Sammy Arcworks, Arc System Works. They make Blay Blue. There's a Z, but I guess it's silent. It's like French or some crap. Lost Planet Colonies. And it still has the Heihua on it, but it's been open. It was $2. And, um, I don't know. <clears throat> I'm not going to bother. But I bought it. Yay. Here we go. These are not games. And I really need to inventory and alphabetize my Laserdisc collection. Spoilers. Because they have a lot of that hard off, and I want to go and... Yeah, if I have to buy them, it's okay if they're ones I really want that I don't have. You know, instead of just buying a whole box for 10 bucks like I had before. But, what did I get? We'll start with the one where you... Okay. I don't care what you say. Leonardo DiCaprio, I can't say his name apparently, but he's a really good actor. And then you've got Meryl Streep and Diane Keaton and Robert De Niro. This is a star-studded cast. In fact, between the four of them, how many Oscar... Nominations do you think there are? It's got to be more than 10. Robert De Niro? Come on. Doesn't he have more than 10 by himself? Probably. More than 20, maybe. Marvin's Room. If only it could be Martin's Room. 
It's Marvin's Room, a story about the years that keep us apart and the moments that bring us together. A story about the years that keep us apart and the moments that bring us together. Why am I... Okay, and then this is Cheesy B. Ray Warner Brothers Michael Bean Patsy Kensit Taimu Bomba reminds me of uh, <laughs> what's that Capcom game? Giga Wing. Oh my head. And every time you use your special weapon, it like Reflecto Force! Reflecto Razor! Reflecto Bomba! I don't remember, but like that. It's worth playing just for that. But it looks all sci fi and retro and. What does this mean? 1991? Oh my head. Whatever. That's another laser disc. I'm pretty sure I don't have this. That's why I bought it. Or didn't have it. But I paid 200 yen for that. Marvin's Room, too. 200 yen. Also because I don't think I've seen either of those movies. I don't have a focusing thing going really with my camera like so many of you do. Could you please turn off your autofocus? Or turn it off when you upload the video in the settings, like color correction. and Because it goes like this, wah, wah, wah. And occasionally I have videos like that. And if I can, I turn it off and I go back. But sometimes I can't. Ah! But if you don't, I'll still love you and I'll still watch your videos. I'm just saying, it's a thing because your videos are like this. Hey, look at my thing that I bought. Okay, this is sexy. This looks like a naked woman inside of like a, well, penis-shaped... Penis made of metal, and then another one. Wow, what did I buy? Is this a porn movie? This is based on the novel The Space Vampires by Colin Wilson, and the name of the movie is. Dang. That's kind of. What? What is this? 19. Wait for it. <sighs> I don't know. Who cares? Look at that. Look at that, people. Can you see that? You see that? There's another one down there. It's like R2-D2 got taller and then just became a metal flying penis. And so yeah, this the Japanese title is actually Space Vampire, right? But in English, it's Life Force, which is a Konami shooter. So how could I not buy this? If I don't go out tonight, I might be watching this because a la le la le long. What? A la 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 la. Whatever. Oh, wait, there's more. No, no. We're not done. I separated it. I had more stuff and I just kind of put some of it in my, my business bag. So, because I worked this morning or, or this afternoon and then I just went to Hard Off after that. But before that, I went to Burger King and I ate a black burger. Here's a preview. What? It's not exciting, but whatever. Um, bought some more games. So for another dollar, I bought this Japanese baseball game because it was a dollar, basically, and it's for the PS3. Ow, 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 I'm pinching myself. 2010, that's not that long ago. These games are cute, but they're hard. These Jikyo Pawahuru Pro Yaku, actually, I better not have this. I think I have 2011. Anyway, these games are kind of hard. You gotta use some. They're cute. Here's a dollar. And you can get trophies! This is something that apparently you could only get through the... Well, through Club Nintendo. It says right on the back that it's not for sale. Uh, and it's... Nintendo DS Game and Watch Collection. Kind of sweet. This one has Donkey Kong. Sweet! Donkey Kong? This has Donkey Kong. The Game and Watch Collection version. Greenhouse... Oil Panic. Donkey Kong Greenhouse Oil Panic. For 500 yen. Nice. Okay. Ah, I bought this. I have a thing about... Okay, let me think back. One, two, three. Married now. Okay. My wife has a DS that I gave her. The hinges broke. I, don't, I think I gave it to her before that. But anyway, she has it somewhere. I probably have it somewhere. But I'm married to her. We live together in this house. She's in Hong Kong now. But, you know, trust me. We live together. 
my last three girlfriends, was it my last three? My last three kind of serious-ish girlfriends before her, at some point in our relationship, I gave each of them either a DS or a DS Lite. And all three of those girls, this is no word of a lie, all three of them moved, well, is that, all of them went to Australia. I don't like stalk them and try to keep track of where they are, like I've canceled deleted them, unfriended them from Facebook. Like, I wish them well. I hope the best for them. However, I just, it's weird to, to see that, those updates. I don't, I kind of want to know, but I just choose not to try to find out. Anyway, the first one in the series of three, it's like a set, I gave her this one before there was a DS Lite, the cream colored or white, whatever, ivory, I guess it was maybe. DS, and this one has yellowed ever so slightly, but it's, yeah, it's not too bad, and, uh, it's got a lot of light stuff happening, and it's got, you know, it looks like it's been used, but it's got all the stuff, and the nice thing about the DS or the DS Lite, of course, is that, excuse me, Game Boy Advance games go all the way in flush instead of just poking out of the bottom, which I just find annoying, so if you push the power button, <laughs> It totally turns on. Look at that. This was probably a pretty good deal, I guess. You know, it was 800 yen. I totally bought it just to replace the one that I gave away because she... I mean, it's fine, but she she kept it. You know, we don't uh, see each other anymore, but she kept it. And they're all in Australia, for all I know. And good, good for them. Good riddance! I'm not bitter. Keating is bitter. Oh, man. Uh, all right. Oh, what's... Oh, wait. Yeah, I'm saving that. Oh, this is heavy. What else is in here? That pocket's empty now. There's a pen. You don't want to see that. Uh, oh, wow. Not a charger for my iPhone. Hmm. Too many pockets. Oh, crap. I bought a lot of stuff. Hope my wife doesn't watch this video. All right, we'll just make this happen. So a lot of this stuff I ended up buying a book off, so it's like closer to normal price, but not as much. Anyway, I bought Anubis, Zone of the Enders, Special Edition. And I don't know what the difference is between the Special Edition and the non-Special Edition, other than it says Special Edition on it. I think that it has... Oh, well, there we go. It's got the... Why well, I'm not going to try and read all this. It's got more stuff, so it costs more. But I'm pretty sure I didn't have this yet. And I don't have the HD one yet, but I want to get that. Uh, either the PAL or the North American version, because I like English. <sighs> okay. And there's a thing that goes with that. Oh, well. I bought this. Oh, the price is on. I don't want you to see how much I paid for this. <laughs> Because it wasn't 100 yen. Taking it off. There, it's gone. <laughs> this is a PlayStation 2 game as well. It's called Shining Dragon. And it's like, apparently, anime chicks duking it out. And I just needed to see what that was like. So, I bought it. It wasn't a lot of money, but it wasn't 100 yen either. So, there you go. Somebody who's into this kind of stuff can maybe tell me about it. I'm not that guy. I don't buy these kind of games usually. But I like fighting games. And I like quirky games. And this is a quirky fighting game from what I can gather. Hello. Dang. So yeah, the disc is good. That's uh, something interesting. I, that just appeals to all the wrong parts of me. <laughs> Pardon me for a minute. I think this needs an HD remake on the PS3. Is it too late for that? I'm kidding. I'm not really a pervert. <laughs> I'm a man. Like, duh. What in the... That's just weird. I'm going to show that to you because it's weird. 
enough. All right, so I'm planning to play that and see what it's like, but that's quite the quite the cover for the manual, I must say. Enough of that already. Losing track of what I've shown when I have it. Okay, I bought this because it was wicked cheap. It's a PS4 game. It's a Japanese one, but it has English. I'm pretty sure I could be wrong. It doesn't have online play because it's used. I don't care because I don't play online. And I have friends who come over and they like to play soccer games, so I'd like for them to be able to experience it on a PS4 or a Xbox One Next Gen console. So, it is FIFA 14. It was wicked cheap. And less than $20, which, I don't know. Where you are, maybe that's not so cheap. But to me, that's cheap. But I like to support the games when they, uh, you know, when they have English on the Japanese games as an option. Okay. Ah, uh, more shit, man. Lots of PlayStation stuff. I bought this on the 360 in the US, new. And I said in that video that I would probably buy a Japanese one because I want my wife to be able to play it. I got that on the PS3 today. Catherine. And I paid $12 for it. So 1250 yen. Not a steal, but you know, that's all right. Cause I've been wanting this game and that's the cheapest I've seen it so far. I bought this because it was really, really cheap. And again, I've played through it in English on the, the downloadable version, but I wanted a hard copy. And since I had the downloadable one from America, I got this for the Japanese. Yay. And I think it has Japanese voices, but you can change the, su the subtitles to English. So that's kind of cool. That's Metal Gear Solid 5, Ground Zeroes. Apparently I have a thing about holding up games and not saying what they are, because I foolishly assume that people can read what it says on the case or the game. Sometimes actually it's hard to read, so. 500 yen. Wow, all these prices right where you can see them. Shocking. It's not hard off, it's book off. Arcana Heart. Another chick fighting game, apparently. Should I open this one as well? So funny. They had to go through everything I bought and put a thank you sticker on it, right? So, like, there was a lady, that was her job, to take everything I bought and put a thank you sticker on it, which obviously is there so that they can sort of, you know, take a glance at it and be like, yeah, yeah, he actually bought this. But, I don't know, I got a lot of thank you stickers today. Oh, all right. That's a pretty thick manual, too. Yeah, just in good shape. There you go. Quick look at the manual. I don't think it's quite as uh, risque as the last one. But I could be mistaken. I don't know. What is it with the Japanese anime obsession with massive eyes? I don't know, but what? Okay, I have never seen this, but I feel like I need it now. This must be kind of expensive collectors. I've never seen this. Apparently there is an Arcana Heart uh, Hori official joystick, and that looks kind of awesome. Look at that. I'm gonna be on the lookout for that. That's cool looking. That's a really nice looking Joystick. In fact, I have a Hori. That's going to be expensive. I have a Hori Hori joystick, like arcade stick. Well, they even say joystick in Japanese. Huh. Like that, but it's like mirrored. I need to know how much that costs. That's awesome. Okay. Next, I got Kunoichi, which is like a, the female word for ninja. Kunoichi. Pretty sure that's right. That's what our wedding planner told us the other day. She did, because I went to go out, because we had our little meeting, and I was at the door trying to put my shoes on, because you got to take your shoes off when you go into a Japanese any place, not any place, lots of restaurants. Well, but this place you do. Take off your shoes so we can sit down and have a meeting. So you have to make sure you're wearing socks and you don't have holes in them. That's annoying. I like to use my socks with holes in them because it's environmentally friendly. Anyway, I'm standing at the door trying to put on my shoes, and I like looked back, and she was standing right behind me. I was like, <laughs> You're like a ninja. And she's like, well, actually, it's Kunoichi. <laughs> I'm a female. Oh, you're so clever. I almost dropped it, but my cat-like reflexes saved the day once again. This actually looks kind of cool. I like hack and slash games. I like girls. So it's win-win. Right? 
Imagine if God of War was Goddess of War, right? Then it would be like X-Blade. That gameplay is so crappy though. Oh my head. Oh well. Anyway, once again, kind of thick manual. What in the... Okay. Nothing, uh, nothing too shocking in this manual. So we'll just we'll just put it back. But yeah, it's in good shape. 250 yen. Feel good about that purchase. I bought a lot of stuff. Shadow of Rome. It's a game I've been looking at for a long time. And uh, always almost buying. But I always felt like it was too much. But it's, this time it was cheap. So I bought it. There you go. I don't know if it's any good. But I want to play it. So get over it. If you think it sucks, you're probably right. But I want to find out for myself. You got the manual. I love these color manuals. Do PS2 games in the US have color manuals? I don't know. So the guy I sold my stuff to, right, this morning, he sent me like bill of sale stuff and I had to sign it. And instead of writing Anthony, he wrote Antonio on all the stuff. I just think it's kind of odd that he assumed that my full name was Antonio. Because my last name is not Latin in any way. Well, no, it's really not. So I, I don't know. I just thought that was kind of weird. What's going on? Did I look at everything now? Are we through that? Yeah? Yes? Okay. All right. I think that's it. Maybe. Yes? Okay. Uh, wait. Are we done? I think we're done. There's one more thing. To show. That was kind of anticlimactic and sudden. The last thing I got was for 500 yen, five dollars basically, this, uh, I'll take this plastic covering off, it needs to be cleaned up a bit but I think I can make it look nicer, uh, ASCII fighter stick special for the micro switches, Super Famicom, woohoo, and I have actually a really nice Super Famicom uh, arcade stick, but this one's pretty good. I mean, got the micro switches, and then the buttons are a decent size. They could be a little bigger. That's a bit small, but yeah, I like to hit the buttons with two fingers. I'm more of a two finger button kind of guy, but these are these are one finger buttons, as you can see. I have kind of big fingers, but still. Anyway, the point is you can access all of them, right, at once. So that's kind of cool. And it's got select, start, obviously, and then turbo, auto, stuff. Yeah, and it was five bucks. So, woohoo! I'm planning to bring some of the retro machines downstairs here to the living room. Maybe even put a CRT in here because my wife's away for a few days. And, like, I don't resent it. It's a thing. All that kind of stuff's in the game. And the new stuff, some of it's here, as you can see. But this is still more than she wants, like, out visible. Anyway, I'm just, uh, whew, almost a 40, oh, we just hit 40 minutes, plus there's the other footage. So this is, like, a super long video. I'm sorry, or you're welcome, or thank you, whichever applies to you, or all of the above. I'm going to go now, because I have to call Old Noob and see what's happening tonight. Although I might just stay in, because I already spent enough money today. Thanks for watching. And I'm not going to say thanks for being yourself, although it occurred to me to say that. That's Woodland's, 30, Woodland 37 thing. Thanks for watching, and have a good weekend. Because I'm posting this before I post the bottom of the box thing, because I needed to get this up so that I can put this stuff away. Okay, enough. Goodbye, bye-bye, bye-bye. I, I thought that I was forgetting something. There's still some kind of major stuff left in here. Well, at least one pretty major thing. Yeah, they're all major things. Okay. <laughs> so yeah all right i already have this but this is only five dollars and i bought it because it's this and ba -ba 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 -ba. this which is like a cd and a dvd that comes with it and that's kind of cool and i don't know if i want to bother opening it right now but i guess i should it was marked down though because it doesn't come with some kind of a booklet that originally was included but I'm over it for the time being, uh, since it was only five dollars, and it's a fun game to begin with without the CD. Uh, get off of there! What was I talking about? Oh, yeah, I'm using the component. That's how I open it. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah. So now I have the set. 
which I guess I did anyway, but I wanted to check this out, basically. I probably would have paid $5 just for this if they would have sold it that way. That's awesome. Even the inside of the box has art on it. That's pretty thorough. Leave it to Hideo Kojima. And then it's got this little, what does this say? Zone of the Enders 2167 Idolo Special Soundtrack. This is freaking cool. And I got this for five bucks, so nice. Nicety nice, nice. There you go. It's like that. Oh, oh, the disc is floating around. Stop it. So what's happening here? I don't know. Anyway, this is a DVD and this is a CD. So I'll have to check these out. But how cool is that that I got all that and the game for five dollars? I'm really happy that I that I did that because I, I actually thought about it. I was like, oh, maybe I shouldn't buy it because I know I already have that game. Nope. That was a good choice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Next. Where did it go? So many pockets in this bag. This is one of the GameCube games I've been wanting for a long time and just don't have or didn't have. And it's not cheap. Uh, now, one of the ones I really want is Kirby Air Ride. That game's crazy expensive in Japan and, I don't know, maybe in North America and PAL regions too. I'm not sure, but I want that game. Now I have this one, Star Fox Assault. In the shiny little sleeve and the... There it is. This cost me like 30 bucks, but I wanted it for a really long time, and that's the cheapest I've seen it, actually, I think. I might have seen it cheaper at like... I don't know. I've never seen it cheaper than that, I can say that. So, play me some Star Fox on... Star Fox? <laughs> I'm going to play me some Star Fox on the GameCube. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Last... Well, yeah, last. <laughs> this is a bit frivolous. I own this already. Uh, I think I own that as a download because PlayStation Plus gave it to me. Before that, I had already bought the physical version, uh, the American physical version. I was so excited to have it. And now I have the Japanese version, which is better and more expensive, but I got it reused, so it wasn't. Iko, Iko, and Shadow of the Colossus. Which in Japanese is Wander, Wanda, Wander and the Colossus, although it's, yeah, anyway. But it comes with two separate discs, right? Obviously it's got this nice box, sleeve, whatever. And let's see here, each, each game, because they, they sold them separately as well, or you could buy the set. Which who, who would buy just one when you can buy the set? I don't know. In the US, right, they were released on one disc, both of them, but in Japan you got both. Kind of sweet. Uh, the backs. And then I believe, yeah, when you open these up, they have, I don't know if you'd call that reversible disc art or not, but it's got disc art inside as well. And they each have their own dedicated manual. And both of these games are quite playable without uh, any Japanese knowledge, right? And if anybody's wondering, the pro correct pronunciation is Iko, not Aiko. So there's that. And then this one, same deal. Whoa, big manual and then advertising. And what the heck, this is wicked colory and stuff. Reminds me of the PS2 art book with uh, Shadow of the Colossus that Lloyd sent me. Really nice. Look at that, sweet. So, yeah, and then it's got the art in the background. This is just something I felt like I really needed in my collection, because these are two of my favorite games. Certainly of the sixth generation, but maybe of all time. Both just really awesome games. And I keep hoping that the uh, third one will finally come out. But in the meantime, maybe I can play this again <laughs> in Japanese. Not that there's that much talking. But anyway, so that's it. That's the grand finale. And... Um, Shit, what am I doing? Smashing my Star Fox box? No, I'm good. I need to go, and you need to go, because we have better things to do. Thank you. Seriously, thank you for watching, and bye bye For reals. <sighs> I'm such a fibber. I was saving one more thing for last. I set it aside to make it be the last thing. Now I don't know where I set it, but there is something, so just a moment. Wait, there it is. It comes with an art book.
was it an art book? It's no, it's kind of like a history of kind of thing. And then some sketches and the inside. It looks like that's what? Is that like a little poster? What's going on here? Oh, shit. I'm going to mess it up, but I'll try to show it to you. There's a little poster inside, which is kind of freaking sweet, actually. I don't want to mess it up, but there's that in there. Ompa! <gasps> And, yeah, so the first part of it's kind of history. I can't really show it very well, but, like, interviews, things like that. And then in the back, and I really am going to start working on my reading of Japanese because there are some books I want to read together with my wife that either the Japanese and English are so different that it's almost, like, pointless to read them together or there isn't an English version or... Pff, anyway, so, yeah. My reading ability hopefully will improve a lot. But uh, yeah, there's just like sketches, things like this, game design stuff. Really, really neat. And uh, man, I'm so glad I bought this because I really felt like I was being kind of naughty when I did. But this kind of stuff doesn't come with the standard North American release. And gosh, this is cool. It's got like, ah, oh, look at that. Homeboy can't draw, right? So I really appreciate this kind of stuff. This is awesome. Hmm. Yep, there you go. I really, 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 really am done with this video now. And if you did watch all of this, thank you. <laughs> Goodbye!